The little cat, now named Freya, was hanging out in the parking lot of a school when she spotted a woman, Susanna Nevison, a doctoral student at the University of Utah, walking toward her car. When I got to my car, I opened the door and climbed in, Nevison told. While I was putting my purse in the passenger seat, the little cat jumped right up in my lap. Nevison was shocked and allergic, but even though she couldn't take the cat home, she felt she had to do something to rescue the animal. She ultimately crawled up on my shoulder while purring and nuzzling on my lap, according to Nevison. While tapping into her network of friends and acquaintances to see who could give this sweetest cat the home she deserves, Nevison took Freya to Salt Lake County Animal Services to get her help for her left eye, which seemed to be bothering her. The staff gave Freya an exam. The one-year-old cat didn't have a microchip and had likely been fending for herself on the streets. Amazingly enough, that rough kind of life didn't diminish how affectionate she was. After having her left eye surgically removed because it was bothering her and posed a major infection risk, Freya is now a little lighter. But Freya's stay at the shelter dragged on. People didn't want the one-eyed cat and passed her by. One day, a woman named Karen Cole found out about the cute cat. The family already had two cats that they had adopted five years ago from a shelter. Karen couldn't believe that her husband had agreed to take Freya in so easily. Our meeting was extraordinary. I had fallen in love with her a long time ago, and Freya met me as if she had been waiting all along just for me, says Karen. Of course, Freya needs some time to get used to her new family and her new home. But it is certain that she will be happy and loved in this home.